Hey there, I'm Ma, I'm an artist from Brazil now living in Portugal and today is my greatest pleasure to bring this project for you guys. This was actually a commission asked from a dear friend from my heart <laughs> and she asked me to make a portrait of one of her boyfriend's cat an astonishing beautiful cat called Lovelace. Right on the start, when I was thinking about this project, I thought about mm, a sepia portrait like this, those ones from the 19th century could be a great representation of this lady. I have to admit that back then I was not remembering that Lovelace was actually Ada Lovelace, you know, the first female programmer. Which is a shame, because I love to know about important great human in the course of history. And to deliver the aesthetics that I wanted for this project, I, I decided to use Procreate, which offers me so many possibilities for textures, brushes and different types of projects in only one easy-to-go medium. So let's take a look on this beauty. So before I started the illustration, I asked my friend to give me some pictures of this little cat and she gave me plenty of her. All of them helped me to create the character, but this one I thought the pose was best and could give me more uh, details ab about her to make the illustration. So as I told you, I wanted to make a sepia portrait for this lady, but at the start I didn't remember that she was Ada Lovelace. So I just searched for some reference for 19th century dresses because I wanted to do like obviously an anthropomorphic girl so I decided to make this high neck collar dress which is great and is really efficient to remember about old times but it didn't show all the fur that she has so beautifully on the neck which is a lovely feature for this girl so I was thinking, mm, how can I change this design? And then my husband said, well, why don't you look at reference from Ada Lovelace? Because the cat is named after her. And I was like, oh my god, yes, I didn't realize that. So I went after photos from Ada Lovelace and I found some different dress designs and decided for this more open chest dress that showed, shows a little bit of color and yeah, it worked to show the fur. Another feature that I wanted for this drawing was a beautiful frame, again to resemble those old portraits, but I decided to make it a little bit more organic and add this floral touch to it. Some roses and leaves to make it more natural and I think it would work better for the character instead of just a plain geometric frame. As this drawing is just a sepia one, I didn't add much color, just some different hues, brownish and reddish colors. And you can see that I, though I have sketched more for this drawing and studied the subject, I still did make some mistakes uh, in the middle of the process. So I had to change a little bit, but yeah, I think it, it all worked out. <laughs> After that, I still found another problem. The fur under the chin didn't look quite nice. It looked like she had a beard or something like that. So I decided to kind of trim it and make it just um, a shorter fur for the neck and the rest of the fur that goes in the sides to be like a like a hair, so she would be more ladylike, but it's still showing this majestic fur. 
and some texture for the background to look like old paper or at least as paper. And of course, we refined more the lines, added more contrast, um, more shadows, and to finish, add some light beige whiskers for this lady. As I was preparing the file to send to my friend, I used Photoshop to add a little bit more of contrast and these small dots to make it look more like old paper, which gave a nice touch to the final composition. And it was done! My friend printed and framed the illustration and gave it to her boyfriend. And now she's hanging on the wall with her other friends. And that was Love Place for you guys. I loved making this drawing, it was such a nice commission and portraying a strong woman at the same time as making a beautiful cat. I always think they are stunning, beautiful creatures. I, I don't know. Cats have these amazing looks and it's always nice to have an excuse to make some anthropomorphic beautiful characters, right? If you like portraits of animal characters, I have some more here on my channel, especially the first video when I talked about these drawings on my cover. Please check it out. Leave it a like if you like this video and share with your friends. And if you're not yet, please consider subscribing to this channel where I bring art-related videos for you guys. See you in the next one.